hello traders kelly254 here and i'm going to show you how to create the report that when the last two digits are below three it purchases over three for, for an instance assuming the last two digits of the market are uh, two and one then the board automatically purchases over three it was a bot that uh, was requested right over here and today i'm uh, showing you how to create this bot yeah that's it let's get started uh, first thing we love to reset our our bot and we do not need the cell condition so we delete it then we go forth to add variable variables that we will be using in our bot first variable is a uh, remember we the bot is supposed to uh, fetch for the last two digits of the market so we'll have to have variables that store the last two digits of the of the market as indicated right over here so we'll get to i'm calling uh, these variables digit one and the other one digit two Like that so set digit one two this one should be attached to the trade options not run once at start because they will be changing each and every time the variables that you always attach to the run once at start are the variables that do not need to change when the bot is running because they're only executed once during the run once you press run, they only executed once, and after that, they are not executed again until you you stop the bot and start it again. So, uh, since our digit one variable, I wanted to store the last digit of the market, so I go to in list. I wanted to fetch from the last uh, digit list. So in list last digit list so i have to go to tick and candle analysis and then pick last digit list this one so in list last digit list get from the end i need from the end i need the first one that means we get the last digit of the market so from the end i need the first one like that and I duplicate this one and I do it for the same thing for digit two. I need the second one. These two blocks will be fetching the last and the second last digit of the of the market that you have selected here. We should change this one to G, two digits and uh, maybe over under as requested and like that. We also need to have a variable prediction like this then since our prediction we want it to be executed only once we'll attach our prediction right over there and our prediction will be for for instance as requested it will be digit three like that and you attach our prediction right over here the reason why you can just leave it like that and uh, do not add the the prediction variable but uh, each and every time before you run the bot, always make sure that you have changed this prediction. Uh, this should be the last thing that you are doing to change the prediction and then press run. Because once on changing the market, let's, let me just show you. You can see it is a prediction digit 3. On changing the market, you see it, it went back to 1. So uh, this one can make you uh, trade contracts that you did not want you did not intend to trade more so if you are trading under here you can trade under one by mistake so uh adding a, a variable right over here it did not change even if you change the market to another market it will still remain the value that you have attached right over here and your prediction you will be changing it from this point now uh, we go to loops we want the bot to repeat these instructions until what we intend is uh, until the conditions that we have we will set here are true so we go to i need the run after again 
need to be checking the digit after zero seconds so that we ensure that it does not miss any digit run after zero seconds and then we need this one it is the infinity so we need it to run the infinity times until the conditions that are here are met so we go to logic if and uh, logic again so if uh, digit 1 and digit 2 we need logic um, logic operation like this variables if digit 1 is less than 3 less than digit 3 like that and repeat the same for digit 2 then break out of our loop yeah it's supposed to break out of this loop like that and we also need to see what digit 1 and digit 2 the values that are on digit 1 and digit, digit 2 so we need to create a text and we attach it right over here the last two digits just uh, the last two digits like that are and then we attach these two variables right below it will be digit one and digit two like that so we need a notification here because uh, once you create the text uh, block and you do not add you do not attach the notification here it will not notify anything on the journal part like that and then we collapse right over here if you want you're about to be uh, producing some notification sounds you just change this one from silent and uh, and input the notification sound that you want once the condition here is met this one it will generate the sound that you have selected I, some people always develop their bots with sounds maybe once you make profit it notifies you via sound once you hit allows it will also notify you via the sound that you have selected right over there and like that we, we just made the bot that was requested I prefer using the 1s markets and that's it we collapse our block Uh, you can also add martingale uh, entry point all those uh, all those uh, blocks right over here and here and uh, here for the martingale so make sure to check out uh, adding martingale to your derive bot video that i did earlier on on uh, creating derive bots playlist so let me run the bot and see you can clearly see that it is it is uh, showing the last two digits of the market and clearly the last two digits were, were one and zero and then it purchased uh, strictly over strictly over three yeah that's it uh, for this board you can see one one strictly purchase higher than three yeah that's it for this board and uh, make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel for more informative content for the stake you'll adjust it from this end because we have no variable for for the stake yeah that's it make sure to uh, subscribe to my youtube channel for more informative content regarding creating the reports and uh, also like and share my videos to everyone who needs maybe to get to know how to create the reports